Hello dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine. This is your chemistry mentor Bhavika welcoming you to this amazing platform of PW English. So, today we are going to start off with this topic that is atomic number and atomic mass. Yes, they are very basic terms. Okay, they are very basic terms but many students just get confused between them. So, in order to break this confusion, we are going to start off with this very uh, basic and very important topic. Okay, we are going to explore that actually what is atomic number, how it is denoted, what is atomic mass, how they are both related to each other. We are going to talk about that. So, let us get started. So, first of all, we will talk about atomic number. So, what is atomic number? So, generally, atomic number is determined by the number of protons in it. And it is used to differentiate one element from other. Okay. Uh, in a 10th standard, there is a chapter. Okay. Or I shall say there was a chapter. It is deleted uh, from this syllabus as of now. There was a chapter, Periodic Classification of Elements, uh, in which it states that how many scientists tried, okay, whatever we are using, a well-nourished, well-organized uh, well periodic table, that is a uh, efforts and it is a uh, efforts and hard work and blood of so many scientists. It is due to efforts, okay, uh, restless efforts of so many scientists that so many have come, they failed and many more came, failed, came, failed, they tried and tried but did not cry and they just at the last, they discovered, they invented this beautiful periodic table. Let me show you. Let me show you the periodic table. You may uh, think that why ma'am is showing us periodic table when we are talking about uh, chemist uh, when we are talking about atomic number because beta okay I am showing you this periodic table because this periodic table is arranged in the increasing order of atomic number. Okay, many scientists came like Doberner came, Newland came, Mendeleev came and they all arrange elements in their increasing order of atomic mass. But that was not working. So many drawbacks, uh, drawbacks came by and so many mistakes were detected. So at last this periodic table was uh, discovered by Henry Moselle. Okay, he designed this on the basis of their uh, increasing order of atomic. Okay, so if you go from here to here, see it is a one, two, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it gets goes on increasing like this in a horizontal way from left to right. So uh, what is atomic number? So, you must know the significance, okay? Your entire periodic table, all the elements you know, okay? All the 118 elements we know that is in periodic table is, is arranged according to their atomic. If there's, there was no atomic number, then... We could not have arranged elements in this beautiful manner. And if we, do, we did not have arranged these elements, then the, their properties, the physical and chemical properties would be unknown to us. Okay. So, that is the role of uh, atomic number. So, basically what is atomic number? Okay, till now I was talking about its importance. Now, the thing is, what is actually atomic number? It is the number of protons. Okay. Number of 
protons present in that particular set. Okay. You may ask me why I am only protons, why you are not talking about neutrons or electrons. Okay. Uh, there are uh, uh, atoms in which the number of proton and neutrons are not same. Okay. The number of neutrons gets on increasing. So, we cannot uh, just make neutrons as a basic to determine your atomic number. You will say, what about electrons? See, you know, whenever we make bonds, okay, whenever a bond is made between two elements, what happens? Electrons are donated or electrons are accepted. What happens in covalent bonding? Electrons are shared. So, whenever there is some bonding or whenever there is a formation of iron, electron, the number of electrons get on change, right? If there isn't cation, okay, when cation arises, cation becomes when an electron is what? Donated. Okay, a cation is formed when electrons are donated. What happens? The number of electrons get on decreasing. What happens in anion? Anion is formed when an atom accepts electron. So what happened in that case? The number of electrons get increased. So, again, the number of electron is not constant. But with the case of protons, it is constant. The number of proton remains constant. That's why we have taken proton as basics of our atomic. I hope you understood the concept that why we took. Okay. Why we took proton as our basic. So, please just highlight this point that it is the let us highlight from this it is the number of protons. Okay, it is the number of protons, right. The modern periodic table is arranged in a such a way that all the elements having an increasing atomic number and subsequently increasing mass number. Okay, I will tell you about mass number further. So yes, our modern periodic table which was designed by Henry Moseley is uh, designed in such a way that it uh, atomic number gets on increasing. It is. Now, atomic number is represented by, it, by symbol Z. Okay. Many students think that atomic number is denoted by A. But please don't make mistake. Atomic mass is denoted by A. Right. Atomic number is always denoted by Z. Right. Okay. Clear till here. So, that is what atomic number is. See, if you have to write it, how you write it? Atomic number. So, this is your atomic number. This is your symbol. This is atomic mass and this is your name. Okay, but you have to write it. Okay, if you have to write it, it is written like uh, Z is written downside. Here is element, any element and here is the atomic mass. This is how a element is represented. Okay. Two. Next is atomic mass. Now, what is atomic mass, ma'am? It is the combination of protons and neutrons. Okay. Let us just uh, highlight this also. It is the number of protons and neutrons combined. Okay. This term, okay, this term is also known as nucleons, okay. Why nucleons? Because they reside in nucleus, right. As they reside in nucleus, they are called nucleons, okay. If you add the number of proton and neutron, okay, I repeat, if you add the number of proton and neutron, 
you will get nucleons and that is your atomic mass okay before henry mosley uh, your uh, doberner then a uh, newland mendeleev they all uh, arrange the elements in their increasing order of atomic mass but mass is not the correct parameter okay mass was not the correct uh, parameter to arrange the elements because what was the reason the increase in mass okay the increase in mass is not uniform the increase in atomic mass is not uniform sometimes it increases by 1 it increases by 2 increases by 3 4 5 6 7 so the increase between two atomic mass is not uniform but if you see the increase in atomic number it is uniform and that is 1 right 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and if you see the difference between two consecutive numbers it is always right so that's why it mass was not the perfect parameter how it is denoted it is denoted by letter a okay i always denoted by letter a okay so this is the concept of molar mass okay uh, this number is particularly the avogadro number it basically says that if you take okay If you take six point zero two two into ten raised to twenty three atoms of uh, atoms, it will be equal to twelve grams of carbon. Okay, I've just uh, put this pic to give you a uh, function. See, it is like. See what you say. If there is twelve bananas, what you say them? One dozen, right? Yes. If there are two socks, what you say them? One pair, right? So likewise, if there are Six point zero two two into ten raised to twenty three atoms. They are denoted by one. Okay, so just this is just the basic information. Okay, this is the basic information of mole. Okay, right? Clear till here? Yes. You will get to know more about this in upcoming standards. You are going to study this in. Eight. Okay, so let us do few examples. Okay. Ah, uh, here are some examples. Let us try to find out their atomic number and atomic mass. First, let us uh, talk about silicon. Okay. Now, what is the atomic number of silicon? Do you know? Silicon. Yes. silicon's atomic number is atomic number is 40 right its atomic number is 40 clear till here yes and what its its atomic mass its atomic mass is 28 but there are 14 electrons and 14 protons right you will say ma'am how can you know about it sometimes see atomic number you have to memorize right atomic number you have to memorize but in sometimes you will memorize it with a trick okay let me tell you about phosphorus denoted by p can you just tell me its atomic number and atomic mass what is the atomic number and atomic mass of phosphorus chalo i'm giving you 2 minutes please try to do it
yes you must think that it is atomic number is you must know it is 15 and you may think that its atomic mass is 30 right we we just think that it is double because what we have studied the in atom number of electrons number of protons and majorly majorly i am not telling all that mostly number of neutrons are also same but that is not the case everywhere here here the atomic mass of phosphor is not 30 but it's 31 because what happens here is there are there are 15 protons and there must be 16 a uh, elect uh, neutron okay so this increase so this change this change is due to neutron i told you it can increase or decrease see normally we double it but that is not the always case we have an, uh, another example okay we have another example of chlorine right we have example of chlorine What is the atomic mass of chlorine? What is its atomic number? The atomic number of chlorine is seventeen. So in that way, it should be what thirty-four. But that is not the case. The atomic mass of chlorine is thirty-five point thirty-four. You you will ask, ma'am, is there is a half neutron or something? No, dear. as i told the atomic mass amu amu is atomic mass unit written over here it is the mass of one atom and it is determined by this way where you just count the number of atoms and then you equate it with see what this mean this mean see what this mean if i take if i take 35.5 g of chlorine what i will find that in this g of chlorine there are exactly avogadro 6.022 into 23 atoms of chlorine is present so that is the logic Okay, same. If you talk about oxygen, yes, let us talk about oxygen. Okay, oxygen is its atomic number is sixteen. Yes, its atomic mass is thirty-two. Right. So if I take thirty-two gram of oxygen, what I will find? I will find. this many atoms of oxygen in it so this my dear this my dear is a magical number okay known as avogadro's number it was found out by a scientist avogadro that's why he kept the name on his name okay so that's all about atomic number and atomic mass okay so we started from very basic and i tried to taught you some uh, advanced level because you know that is going to come in your exams in in your upcoming standards okay you must know that why exactly 35.5 is taken when you are telling that it is the addition of protons and neutron okay so i hope you understood and keep smiling take care and see you in the next class thank you